I'm Peoria Mayor Kathy Carlett. I decided to serve in government for the benefit of my kids. They were much younger then, it was 15 years ago, and I wanted to make sure that when they grew up, they were not gonna move away and raise their children somewhere else. I wanted my grandchildren close to home. And so I wanted to do everything that I could to um, increase the quality of life and the opportunities for employment in the city where I lived and where we loved and, and loved raising our children. I wanted them to stay here. The city of Peoria is a fast growing city and we have just begun to build up the second half of our city. So one of our biggest challenges is protecting our precious open space. We are in the middle of the beautiful Sonoran Desert and we have to protect open space while we provide a, a mix of development, the, the perfect mix of development that will take us into our finest future. Economic development is very important to me and I see many opportunities to bring the types of industries our residents want in order for them to work close to home. Our city spends a lot of time working to make sure that specific areas of our city have the correct infrastructure in place so that we can attract the types of employers that are going to allow families to work close to home. I am most proud of the things that enhance the quality of life for our residents. The first thing that comes to mind is the expansion of our Veterans Memorial Area in the middle of our city. It's just a tremendous point of pride for me. We enlarged the entire area around an 88-foot black granite wall enshrining historic war events and provided shade and more seating, looking out over the lake so people can just sit there and reflect and take their time. We also added a Huey helicopter retired from the Vietnam War as the centerpiece to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Area, which was expanded to provide a proper welcome home for those veterans. We also added an honor wall so our residents can permanently add the name of a loved one to be remembered forever. Seeing my vision come to life and then seeing veterans and their families genuinely touched as they enjoy this area, it has been overwhelmingly gratifying. The League of Cities and Towns is responsible for representing all 91 cities and towns throughout our state. Protecting local control and state shared revenues are the most important priorities and the League advocates for all cities and towns. And it's critical that we remain unified to ensure our communities have a voice and can flourish in their own unique ways for the benefit of their residents. The city of Peoria is home to a scenic desert oasis. That is Lake Pleasant Regional Park. Surrounded by the Sonoran Desert, it is an outdoor enthusiast's dream destination for action and adventure. With more than 23,000 acres of water and beautiful unblemished desert landscape, Lake Pleasant Regional Park is one of the most scenic recreation areas in the valley. You know, municipal employees spend their life in service to others. And so that heart for service, it just translates into a lot of different things during the course of the day. And I'm sure in the course of their nights too. Um, and there's lots of stories of employees doing kind things. Uh, they are the eyes and ears of our community. But one comes to mind. Um, there was a solid waste driver who heard that someone on his route had thrown away by accident, of course, their wedding ring. And so he actually took his entire load and dumped it out and sorted through every single bit of that trash by hand until he found that person's wedding ring and was able to return it to them. Those are the kind of stories that just warm my heart uh, because I know they are so meaningful to the residents of the city of Peoria. Like many cities, some of the most important issues at hand impact all of us in different ways. Protecting local control and state shared revenues are always top priorities for individual cities and towns. 
Senate Bill 1487, introduced in 2016, challenges local control with state shared revenues at stake. A current issue is a 1487 claim that elections are not a matter of local control. This case has made its way to the Supreme Court and will be heard this month. It's a very, very important one that we should all pay attention to. Another important issue is the status of vacation rentals. When it was mandated that cities and towns did not have local oversight over these properties, party houses and quasi hotels sprouted up in residential neighborhoods. We made some progress in the modification of this legislation during the last session, but it was cut short by the pandemic. So I am hopeful that we can move forward on this issue as the next session gets underway.